G'day. What we're going to do today, guys, is uh, change the 12 volt system set up in my father in law's uh, canopy. It doesn't have big power draw, but he definitely has a fridge in here and a battery to charge. So I'll just go through a few things what we're going to, what was in the canopy and how it was working and what we're going to put in. Stay tuned. Rightio, so what was in the canopy was a 20 amp KT accessory solar uh, regulator powered by a 150 watt solar panel on the roof. Now, all that we have in here is an AGM battery and an angle fridge and a couple of LED lights. So the power draw is minimal, but what we're gonna put in is something a little bit different. So, I've been watching these kick-ass DC, DC chargers for a very long time and I thought what better way than to have a crack. So I'm currently on holidays in Queensland from Melbourne for a week and I don't have all my tools with me. So shopping around, having this plug and play system, to me, in my opinion, and for the system that we're gonna create is uh, very, very good. So what we've got is the pre-wiring kit with the new triple Anderson plug with the ignition control, because we are going in a BT50. So it does have a smart alternator. Uh, the DC-DC charger, the lithium um, upgraded one. So in the future, we can put a lithium battery in here. And I've just gone the battery connecting kit as well. Uh, again, like I said, I don't have all my tools here. So for anyone that's doing a DIY job in the backyard, like I am, this is the perfect, perfect kit for the job. So we'll go through and uh, show you how we're putting it in. Okay, so because we have a smart alternator in this and I am going to... Um, connect the on wire, it's not an ignition wire because if you leave the ignition on, your radio is going to get flat. Watch the uh, kick-ass movie, they'll tell you all about that, but we're going to use the on wire to activate the uh, the DC-DC charger. So what I've done, I've just got a piggyback fuse and they will vary depending on the size of the fuse in the fuse box. And all I'm going to do now is identify a, um, a fuse that works in the on position, not the ignition position. Um, to activate the DC-DC charger. So, looking at this, I've got obviously the fuse uh, requirements. So I've actually identified one on here called, oh, for the heated seats, I think it is. So I'm gonna go and just double check that to make sure that um, it is in the, it activates in the on position and not the ignition position. And I'll just plug that little fuse in there and that's our, that's our connection. Now, as you can see, it's this one here. So you've got the 10 amp, empty and empty. So these two here are empty. So fingers crossed, these are in the on position. So I'll go and do that now. So all I'm using is a test light. Um, gonna put it onto the negative. I'm just gonna check to see if there's any power to it at the moment, which there's no power. Otherwise this light will be on. So I'll see, see here, we've got power, light on no power no power on any of these so these the cars in the off position at the moment so what I'm going to do I'm going to go and turn the radio turn the the key to ignition and uh, see if that turns on that's ignition so we've got no light I'll go and turn the car on And that's in the ignition on uh, sequence. So I'll take you inside now and I'll show you that the radio is still on. Okay, so keys in the on ignition, radio's on, and that light was in the off, turned off. Beautiful. So one thing I will be doing um, to the main cable, because it is going to go under the vehicle, um, Last thing I want is for this to get damaged. So I'm actually gonna, I know, I know it's not much, but I'm gonna put this um, split coro over it. Um, especially, especially where it goes under the vehicle. It'll save with some sharp edges and stuff. 
I know it's got a um I know it's got a nice sheath on it, but I just yeah. Still don't trust these sheaths anyway, especially if they're rattling around under a car. So I'm not gonna record that, I'm just gonna do it. Stay with yeah, well, me. Well I've done a bit of the um coro and I got a little bit carried away, but just want to show you something. This uh this kit is just too easy. So this is where I'm at too. With the coro i've actually started running i got a bit excited and started running into the car <clears throat> so here we are here that's where i'm gonna earth to up here and the, the twin core is running down in and it's all zip tied and tidied up and going down so it's actually following um the power supply for the caravan connection on the back so it'll actually go down along the, along the chassis but i just want to show you this kit right so bullet plug connector into connector and these um piggyback fuses are just a crimp fitting which i'll cut to size and crimp up and put a bit of coro on it and hook coro and hook this one to here and that's that part done. Very easy. So we've got all, all wrapped in here. Just gonna punch a hole through here, put a um a gland nut. All goes down. And you can't see because it's all hidden inside the shadow rail. Comes up in through here. I'm gonna earth it to this, that one. I've got the ignition, the, the on wire tapped in, ready to go. I've got the fuse out of the fuse holder and this is ready to connect onto here. Okay, so we've run the wires. Now, I've punched a 25 mil hole through here and put a gland nut in it. And, nice and, uh, nice and neat up the headboard into the canopy. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a panel of <coughs> excuse me a panel of ply, panel of ply here it comes down to the marquee somewhere to about there so I'll cover all this and I'll mount the DC DC charger up there and have all the wires hidden up in here now I've purposely left this very long inside the canopy uh, like I was saying earlier I don't have my tools to recrimp these and I'm not gonna play around with them this time um, next time I come back with the with the car I will bring the tools back and yeah and I'll actually make a little a little um 12 volt system in there as well replace the the solar wires as you can see they're not very big but that's what come with the panel but I'll yeah just so it'll get him going get some power into the uh, battery while he's driving using the DC DC charger and also while stationary have a better better solar input source so I'll, I'll put together the rest of the piece of the puzzle that was in the kit so I showed you the, um, I've actually thrown it in the bin, but the solar controller. And we've got arc, the arc pack here. So this is what we were using. I'm still gonna use this at the moment. So I'll just hardwire into the terminals. It's got an isolator, it's got the USB, it's got a, a merit plug here for the angle as well. Um, so we are going to continue using this for the time being as a, as a battery system that has a few plugs. However, the main difference is gonna be the charging source using the Kickass DC DC charger. Okay, so got the battery in, got the battery connector all dressed up nice and pretty, connected up. What I'm gonna do now is connect the DC DC charger. Let's see if it all works. So let's go ahead and do that. So the Pre-wire kit is very, very self-explanatory. Solar in, solar in. Let's plug the solar panel in and see what happens. We've got lights. It'll go through a um, test sequence, no doubt. This is the first time I plugged it in. All right, so there's a code there and I did read some of the codes and I think it's something about the battery is not connected properly. So let's output, let's plug the battery in and see what happens. Right, it is an AGM battery, which is the default setting anyway. Solar is connected. So I've only got solar connected at the moment just to see if it's gonna work. And let's see if it's gonna start charging. 
Oh, there we go. Charging and bulk. Okay, so you saw the solar connected. Now what I've done, I've, I haven't recorded all this stuff, but I've made a panel, just some ply, screwed it to the canopy, um, tidied all the wires up with some, um, some split coro. So we've got battery output down into, into the battery here with the temperature sensor to the negative. We've got the input from the car coming in here into the DC DC charger and we've got the solar here and as you can see up in here hopefully you can see that um, she's charging what I'm going to do now I'm going to put the fuse in and reconnect all the on wire from the uh, under the bonnet and fire up and fingers crossed it all works so we now have solid state so when the light's on solid, that's me. That's where the charge source is coming from. This is saying that the alternator is connected and obviously it is charging. We're currently in a bulk stage from the solar panel and it's an AGM battery. So I'll tidy all this up a bit better, but that's a bit of a panel that I've made. All into the arc pack box. Now let's go and fire the, uh, the vehicle up. Oh, before we do that, I'll show you under the bonnet again real quick. Okay, so we're under the bonnet now. So this Flexi Coro is the on wire, which goes into the fuse I was showing you. I've now got the earth, earth to here, which is a main earth source to the battery, which comes back down. And we've also got the positive to the positive, which is pretty self-explanatory. But what I'm going to do is fire the vehicle up and see if it all works. Oh yeah, vehicle running. Alternator charging. So we have power. Now the solar light's gone out, so it's dedicated 100% alternator. Which I believe, that's it. Too easy. Rightio, so that's done. All I need to do, or just which I don't have with me now, is just gotta get a couple of connectors to um, fuse the solar panel. I forgot to do that before, but that's okay, I picked up on it before it did any damage and we don't have a lot of sunlight here today anyway. So that's the arc pack hidden in behind there. So this fuse you can see here, um, it comes to this switch panel here, this switch here, which activates the LED lights inside and the yeah fridge just plugs into the box. So, I mean, these arc packs have a, have a um, few pros and cons like I was saying earlier, I'm gonna, when I come back, I'm going to, when I come back to Queensland, move back here, I'm gonna do a, like a little panel here with a few switches and bits and pieces in here. I'll probably get rid of, rid of the arc box itself and just have a battery box, just a plain battery box sitting in there. But all in all, that was really easy installation. If you're looking for a really easy to install DC to DC charger, look, I've done a lot of shopping around. I run the Enerdrive in my system, but I am also drawing a lot more power. But, mate, this DC-DC plug-and-play system, easy, so easy. They've taken all the hard work out of it. The only reason it took me so long is because of my OCD and tidying up all the wires and just making it look nice and neat. I mean, if you didn't want to do that, you can just chuck it all in and yeah, it would have been, I'd, I'd say you'd have it installed in under two hours. Um, that's including being under the car, zip tying everything up, like that's full installation. Really, really, really um, user friendly to install. So we'll give it a run and yeah, we'll come back in a little while. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, give me a like, thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll try to do a few more of these uh, down the road. Thanks guys.